Hey YouTube, Dawson Ryder here. Welcome to my review for the Snail Gatling and Rolling Hammer Auxiliary Mecha from King Oger. These are very tiny auxiliary mecha, you know, tiny than your average one. Kind of more comparable, I would say, in size to the sort of, you know, classic locked and dropped Ninja Storm stuff, as well as the little cube animal weapons from Juoger. That's definitely more the size range of it. They obviously don't warrant their own individual reviews because they're relatively simple. Let's start with them in debut order and go over Rolling Hammer first, which is effectively like a little roly-poly, uh, pill bug type of thing. I think they're called pill bugs. I would just call them roly-polies, but they're very simple designs. Nothing huge to write home about. You know, they're not overwhelmed with personality, um, but they also, to a degree, do kind of have personality. I'm going to try not to say personality too many times. Dang it, I've already said it three times. I'm sweating now. But, 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 but what I mean is that they're not like the most, like, interestingly designed, you know, they don't have anything necessarily super unique or stand out about them, but I think it's what they are that makes them unique. Like, this is a very simple concept, you know, a little roly-poly bug that becomes effectively like a ball and chain type thing. It's very simple, but I think very effective. I think it's a very unique creature to make out of a mecha, and in a bug-based season, I think that's actually rather neat. So it's kind of unique and adorable. Not the coolest thing ever, but I think for what it is, it's rather unique, and like, it need not be more than this. Just literally folding up into this and becoming a ball and chain weapon, uh, uh, which is unique, you know, it's super easy, almost in a way too simple, but I think that's kind of the beauty of it. It manages to be simple, yet in a way kind of creative, like the answer is right there, and it kind of just makes all the sense in the world. And obviously you have the actual chain right here, which is actually made like a, it's a metal chain, it's not like plastic or like a little bendy piece or anything, which is neat. There's like a little peg piece right here, and you just snap that right in here like this, and then it'll be ready to work with the mecha. I'll just show them both at once. You can see here on the other end is this for the mecha to be able to hold it. But now, we'll talk about snailing, snailing, snail gatling, um, which I don't think it's as clever as the roly-poly that becomes a ball and chain, but I think this thing kind of has a lot of personality. Not, not a lot. I said it again, guys. Whew, gotta be careful. No, but I think, I do think it's, it's, kind of, it's kind of adorable. Again, it's not the most unique, like it doesn't stand out, like if this were to come out and, I don't know, something like Go on Drew, it would be really like cartoony and kind of have a lot of personality, but you know, I still think it's kind of got an adorable aspect to it, especially when you see it in the show, the fact that it's a little snail Gatling gun, like obviously it's going to transform into the Gatling gun, but here it just looks like a snail carrying a Gatling gun, and it's simple yet adorable, and um, there's not really a whole lot to do here, I mean you can spin this here so he can shoot himself in the head, which is kind of disturbing, and then you can move the head a little bit, which is a little bit a part of transformation, but I like that because it can be sitting there on your desk and it gives a little bit of personality, but Oh my god, that's just such an easy word to say. But when you transform it, you just basically do this, and then you don't necessarily have to turn this around, but it makes it more of a full transformation into a Gatling gun. And unlike the other one, which uses, you know, a piece to put in the hand, this one actually snaps onto its arms, uh, just like you do with the ladybug pieces in God Kabuto. But now, let me get to a bit of a taller camera so we can show this off with the mecha. I just realized with that I said taller camera, and I meant tripod. Like, what is a taller camera? I mean, I'm sure that's a thing somewhere. But anyway, so as you can see, you can put the Gatling gun right on here, just like you did with the other one, uh, with the like, Ladybug, and then with the uh, God Kabuto, and it becomes this Gatling gun weapon. Pew, 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 pew. So that's really cool and simple. And then here, you just place this uh, like you would the sword, and it goes like this. And you, so you can have them both on there at the same time. And I'm sure there's some sort of way to have everything we've gotten so far on there at the same time. Like, I don't know, stick the Ladybug somewhere the other one because it's off right now, but I don't know. Overall, it's pretty neat. These things overall, like, aren't the, you know, the must-buy. I'm not like, oh man, these are so awesome, you need them for your collection, but they're kind of harmless and, and fun, and you know, they're kind of adorable. I would say that I really enjoy having them. I think that they actually do wind up being kind of endearing um, and kind of neat to be able to add on to this, and they kind of are effectively sort of like the gimmick, so we're going to have a bunch of different unique weapons to come out of this, which I think is pretty fun. I'll be interested to see, like, if by the time we get to whatever the final mech combos are, if there's going to be a way to sort of attach them all in some way on there. I think that would be pretty neat. But yeah, they're not must-haves, but I think they're overall pretty neat for what they are. They're very simple and yet somehow kind of creative. Like, honestly, it's just one or two moves to transform them, but they manage to be pretty elegant. And, and so I'm, I'm not overpraising them, but just thinking about it, it's funny in some ways how, despite these being really simple, they kind of transform into what they're supposed to be in a more elegant way than some more complicated mecha that just have a horrible job of hiding what they are. But yeah, not must-buys, but I think if you want to pick them up, they're pretty neat. That's about it for this one, though, guys. Until next time, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and climb the steps and ring that bell. See you in notifications for my videos. Dawson Ryder, signing out.